Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number 16 of the It's My Job podcast. This is Jose. I am a transition student from Colorado, and my teacher, Miss Christine Dully, is the podcast facilitator. The It's My Job podcast features students interviewing adults who are blind or visually impaired, investigating important questions like how they use technology and how they connect with other people. Each of our interviews were designed by students for students. Stay tuned after the podcast to learn how to get involved, and please share with your friends and teachers so they can listen too. Now for the interview. Kylie is interviewing Dr. Mona. She is a bioengineer, a filmmaker, and assistant professor at the Department of Bioengineer in Northwest University. She also has a YouTube channel called Plans, Trains, and Canes. And Riley is a middle schooler from Wisconsin. Like me, he loves music and his technology. Now, let's listen to an interview with Dr. Mona. What is your job all about? Please to do research. And so I looked at modeling using computers, the air water interface in the lungs. How do you do filmmaking even though you are visually impaired? So I don't actually, I'm on, I'm on the film. I'm in the actual camera. Are you guys talking about my project? Should I talk about my project, Plain Strings and Canes? So I think you're referring to the fact that I have a YouTube series called Plain Strings and Canes, where I travel as a blind person and use public transportation in five different cities around the world. And so this is a very big question because, you know, I had somebody videotape me. But then I was kind of directing the story afterwards, you know, so I work with an editor. Yeah, we just kind of come up with the final product together with ideas and music and, and what should show up on the screen and, you know, what shots exist. Do you make films using iMovie? The answer is no. <laughs> what type of engineering do you do? Yeah, but really what I do is um, study the way the alveoli you know in your lungs you have these little air sacs that expand and contract and what allows them to expand and contract is surfactants or a type of molecule that helps regulate that so what i do is really study how these molecules interact and try to understand them to see if we can replicate them so that's the kind of engineering that i do do you work from home due to covid i definitely have worked from home due to covid um I now come into my office. I have my own office on campus, um, but I do teach in person with a small number of students in the class. And then the rest of the students are on Zoom or they watch the recording later. How does that change the technology you use at home? I, I use the same technology that I use at home that, that I use in the office. I have maybe access to more technology in the office, but I use the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm using like, computer jaws ipad voiceover like that's what i'm using to conduct my meetings from home what kind of technology do you use at home i mean um i've i i like to label things in braille um, i've been learning that recently as an adult which is great you know i have a pen friend but really i use the apps a lot like be my eyes if something comes up yeah that's really all i use in terms of blindness related technology how do you get to work? We live walking distance. It's a 20 minute walk. I can't even believe that I planned it before the pandemic happened like that. <laughs> so it's great. But I could use the public transportation. I'm just, just trying to avoid it right now because of COVID. Do your coworkers ask you to look at print paperwork? No. They know the answer will be, you look at the print papers. <laughs> uh, exactly, you look at the print papers. Uh. Do you use the Nemeth code in your job? Actually, I don't. It's only because I don't know it. But hopefully down the line when I know it more, I think I will be able to use it. And how do you grade students' work? I have somebody who does it for me. <laughs> so I'm lucky. I have a TA. Everybody, all these professors get TAs. I tell the TA what's right and what's wrong for the different questions that I've devised for quizzes and problem sets. And then they grade. I think that's about all the questions I have. <laughs> Thanks. We want to know uh, a little bit more about you, so. Let's see. I am 13. I go to school now because of the pandemic. Uh, 
Seas of 12, Ashland, Wisconsin. Um, I am visually impaired. Um, I mostly used to tech throughout my whole school time. Uh, some using my computer with NVDA, the Braille note with uh, Keysoft. And I have, in my personal time, I like to use my phone and I, iPad. I mean, uh, text my life, T- text my life. And uh, I, I have a iPhone and iPad. I use uh, the Apple screen reader called VoiceOver and it helps a lot. And uh, sometimes it's a little annoying. It doesn't like to turn off unless I turn the speech off or turn the actual uh, voiceover off itself. Like sometimes uh, I would get a notification at like 6 a.m. and it would be like notifications now. And I'd um, so I just wake up and sometimes shut it off. But that's basically about me. What is your plan for after high school? I am not sure about that yet. Do you have any questions for Jose? Yeah. Uh, what uh, What do you like to do in your personal time? My personal time, I like to socialize with friends and family. I like to listen to music. I like to do some chores, get some stuff done. And really, that's what I do. I got a couple of different Bluetooth speakers so I can uh, jam out. That's something we have in common. So all of my family, we got uh, Amazon Echoes. You know what they are? Like they have... They have Alexa built in. My siblings like to listen to specific music, and I have managed to get a premium subscription for them of Apple Music. They can listen to anything they want. Ah, Happy campers. I love it. (laughs) I think that's about all the questions I have. Hi, it's Jose again. Thanks for listening to the latest episode of the It's My Job podcast. What do you think? Do you like filmmaking? If you do, leave us a comment on our Facebook. You can share your thoughts by phone or email. If you have any questions for Dr. Mona, we would be happy to pass them along. We might even share your questions and answers in a future episode. You can call us and leave us a voicemail, or you can send us a text message. The phone number is 202 688 Four, four. Again, that's 202-688-5044. Outside of the United States, you may need to dial plus one or one and your international access code. Be sure to check with your parents first. The email address is askitismyjob at gmail.com. That's A S K I T S. M-Y-J-O-B at gmail.com. No spaces and no apostrophe. Are you new to the It's My Job podcast? If so, welcome. We want you to know that you can find us on Facebook. Just search for It Is My Job. Each of our episodes is also on the Perkins Path for Technology blog. Check us out and leave us a comment at perkinslearning.org slash technology. And finally, the It's My Job podcast has a YouTube channel called Ask It Is My Job. If you missed episode number 15, head over to YouTube or Facebook to hear my interview with Peter. You will hear a lot about Peter's incredible and unique journey as an author, musician, and organization psychologist. This was episode number 16, but we want to make many more. But we need your help. If you are a student and wants to be an interviewer for a future episode, send us an email at askitismyjob at gmail.com. If you are an adult who is blind or visually impaired and would like to be interviewed, please send us a message via phone, email, or Facebook, and we will get back to you. Once again, our phone number for voicemails and text messages is 202-688-5044. Again, that's 202-688-5044. And our email address is askitismyjob at gmail.com. Again, that is A-S-K-I-T-S-M-Y-J-O-B at gmail.com. We have a lot to be thankful for in this episode. Thanks so much to Dr. Mona for taking her time and Also, thanks so much to Riley for taking his time as the interviewer. This interview was facilitated by my teacher, Mrs. Christine Dolly.
Thank you, Ms. Dolly, for providing students with meaningful opportunities to experiment with what you always tell us. You don't need sight. You need a vision. Thanks to Perkins Path for Technology Vlog for the vlog posts. Our music is from purpleplanet.com. With so many of us working and studying from home, we hope this podcast is becoming a great opportunity to learn from each other and learn about all the amazing jobs that are being done by people who are blind or visually impaired.